What up, guys? It's Animator here to bring you a uh, bleh, review for The Promised Le Neverland, Episodes 1 and Episodes 2. I was meaning to get this out, like, a while back, but sorry, like, I'm a little late, guys, but... This has got to be one of the best new series for 2019. Like, yo, bro, this shit is awesome. This series is so good. Like, I need to see more of this show, man, because I just can't help but, like, like, the more I see this show, the more I'm, like, invested in it, because it's, like, it's just how crazy, like, how good this show is, and honestly, I can't wait, I can't wait to see, like, I can't wait to find out what's gonna happen. I feel like the moment they initiate their plan, though, some might escape, but some might get, like, killed off. Or like they might like their plan is gonna be it's gonna fail like I I don't think it's gonna fail completely to where like all 37 children are gonna be brought back and taken for shipment but I feel like Emma Ray and Norman are definitely gonna survive it maybe a few other kids and like I'd say about like half or less than half are gonna survive and the rest are just gonna get caught and just ship right away and then instantly be made gourmet meals apparently these monsters eat like they eat human brain that's why they're so focused on their intelligent level like the 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 better a brain is developed the tastier is gonna like it's all about that juicy flavor or whatever but turns out Mom is tracking them like she is always tracking them and I'm pretty sure they're being tracked through that barcode That's on the side of their neck with that code on their neck There's no way they're gonna avoid anything unless they find out to ruin its frequency or Somehow get their hands on that pocket watch if they get their hands on that pocket watch mom's in trouble She's gonna have no way of, of tracking them after that, but the problem is we now have another freak in the fold this one this one black chick she she is now going to be living with them from now on so now instead of two eyes there's four there's four eyes keeping an eye on them and right now i i, I feel like mom does suspect uh norman emma i'm not probably even ray because you know how ray always like to sit that on that one spot that he normally does he didn't do it this time around and that's why she's like thinking, something ain't right here. Something ain't right. Why isn't Norman being where he usually does? Everything being normal. Emma is acting weird. Same thing with Norman. Like there's some things that's, something ain't right here. And it's obvious she knows that like they saw what was going on, but she doesn't know who it is. Yo, but. What, yo, that, that little acting that Emma played, though, the moment, like, the mom was getting suspected of her, like, of her being the, of her being the ones that saw the scene, even though we know it's her, like, Emma's acting was by far the best, yo, I'm surprised she was able to act that well and pull off such a believable story, because it's true, because, like, everyone was sad when Connie left and whatever, not knowing what was really going on. And even mom saw that. So the moment, like, uh, Emma told this little made-up story she came up with, it was believable because it makes sense. Why else would Emma be, like, acting differently, acting gloomy, not acting cheerful? Because she's still upset with what happened to Connie. Truth-wise, and the deception that goes along with it, but... Oh, my God. Yo, bro, this show, this show is insane. Once again, can't wait to see more. Um, that's basically it for me, guys. But if I were to give some questions out. If you are in this situation, guys, and you are basically one of the characters, Emma, Norman, or Ray, or you are in a situation similar to what they're in, and you're trying to escape knowing what hap the dangers that happen in this freaking orphanage, would you pull an Emma? Be like, I'm making sure I'm getting all 37 kids out with me. And we're all going to survive together. Or would you take the Ray route? Bro, only the three of us know. We have a high chance of escaping just the three of us. Let's make it happen. Like, 
that's the thing. Like that, I, me, I'm gonna have to take the Ray route. If Emma is gonna do this crazy shit, I don't know, man. I'm probably gonna. I probably would have been that one dude in the background. I'll be like, look, Emma, look. If you wanna do this shit, you do it on your own. I'm, I'm finding my own way out. Cause your shit is likely to get ruined. I wanna make sure I get out without any risk factor involved. I mean, it's already risk knowing that she knows someone. There's, she knows there's a mole in the fold of 37 kids. So, I don't know how the hell you're planning to get 37 kids off of this forsaken farm. But if she actually pulls it off, bravo, girl, bravo. I applaud you. But I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say I would do the same thing. That's just me. Once again, guys, what would you do if you were in that situation? Would you take the Emma route or would you take the Ray route? Question two. Um, what could be the second question? What would be a good question too? Wow. I'm <laughs> okay, I got one. If you're planning from escape from this godforsaken farm, how would you get out? And how would you get out? Like, what method would you use to uh, ensuring your rate of getting out of here alive? All right, then that's it for uh, that's it for question two. And yeah, that's it for me, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. It really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And I see you all in future reactions. Peace. I'm out. How do? You